people, welcome back to my channel. Hola, bienvenue à mi canal. Salut les amis, bon retour sur ma chaîne. Konnichiwa, watashi no channel ni yokoso. Before going any further, please subscribe. It's free. I do fashion and give fashion advice twice a week. Tuesday and Thursday, 3 p.m. Eastern time each week. Probably will never change for now. It's all about sharing that. It's all about sharing fashion, passion. It's all about sharing passion for fashion. Wow, that was really well said. Yes. You can see on my title today it was not gonna be any video related type of like video. <laughs> if I could say it like that, it was all about I guess getting to know me a little bit better because I'm getting more subscribers. It was all about me introducing myself again so that everybody that, that is subscribed to my channel can get to know me a little bit better, you know. Like a little, little family, a little small family. 10 facts about me. If you want to see the rest, just keep on watching. First thing that I'm gonna say about me is that I'm from Cameroon, Central Africa. This is where I live, this is where I was born, where I was raised. And because of that, I do speak French, which is my first language, and then English, which is my second language. Cameroon is a little bit like Canada because it's like bilingual, except that in Cameroon, it's like majority of us who speak French and then we have a minority that actually speak English. So we speak both languages but we don't have to speak English as much because most of the time you speak French and we pretty much set on that side. When younger in classes you have to learn both languages. Uh, that actually leads me to my second thing is that I've been in Canada and I've been in Canada for I think right now it's going to be 10 to 11 years now. My god! Time goes by super fast. <laughs> so I've come here mainly to go to university, get my bachelor degree, which I got in Ottawa a couple of years ago. So right now I'm actually just working full time. I haven't got into any master or anything like that because it wasn't sure what I wanted to do afterwards. So and that leads me to the third fact. And the third fact is that I got my bachelor in Ottawa a couple of years ago and it was in psychology and international development and globalization it looks really complicated more complicated than it it actually really is someone who's always always been curious about like just human behavior in general people in general so that actually just always came up with like questions that i just was asking to myself and i guess it was probably to know me much better myself and get to know people much better it's really important for me to just get to know people like that and i really love to observe a lot actions speak louder than words so for me it's all about just like observing people and the fourth fact about me is that i'm curious so i'm curious about anything i'm curious about anything that's actually is around me and uh, international development is pretty much like being able to analyze any relation dynamics within a country and then within like multiple countries so it could be anything related to like the economy the culture the social part of it um, a lot of things but it's anything a country which needs to be like developed or developed or rich countries it's uh, a lot of like factors never, never really just one of them it's always like multiple factors reason for me to just get to know people better and get to know the country better and get to know just the culture of other people better love to know about like other people like country culture life and uh, that's just me I'm a super super curious beast i'm just saying i speak about like seven languages a little bit i do speak french English, Spanish, uh, Japanese, a little bit of Korean, Chinese, a little bit of Italian because I need to practice it much more now. That's probably why I now try to introduce myself like at the beginning of each video in Spanish as well because it's just the beginning for me to just like keep practicing it or at least start repracticing it. I speak Italian just a little bit, a Korean, Chinese little little bit and then the Japanese and Japanese for me is really big plus my own dialects because in Cameroon you do have multiple dialects like um, I don't want to say ethnicities but we tend to have a lot of um, tribes because of that we have a lot of like dialects which could be considered as being like languages like within the tribe 
but the smaller tribes and then you have the main tribes where inside that tribe you have multiple dialects but these dialects actually are really common so inside that tribe you have people that actually get and understand other dialects within the same tribe much better because they have that kind of like common common points if I could say it like that. It looks complicated but it's not. <laughs> I come from a very very like multiple dialect type of like country but I don't speak as much my dialect so do speak it a bit but I tend to speak a lot more like French if it comes to like my mother, my grandma, they all speak French. So do speak French first and then dialect just because I really need to practice it as well. My sixth fact is that I used to do a lot of like drawings, a lot more like Japanese anime or Japanese drawings. It was me. From the moment that I knew how to write or how to just like use a pencil or pen, I just started doing it and I really used to do it like much more before. It helps me to just express myself more. So I'm not that much of a word type of person. I'm not good at communicating like through words and stuff. So for me, it's all about how I'm gonna express myself and drawing helped so much when I was like younger. Japanese anime and I used to love it so much. I have my classics when it comes to Japanese anime. I don't know if any of you can relate or if you do like even better love 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 japanese anime so much i have some classics like city hunter sailor moon a lot of them in french as well so i don't know the name in english so much in anime more and more and more and because of that I just like listen to the music and it was in japanese because it's like japanese anime right so we love the sound of it so that actually just pushed me to just learn more about their languages. I was learning more about the language that actually led me to just learn more about the country, about the culture. Stuff like everywhere, it depends on the country, it depends on the continent and it depends on the culture itself because in African culture we definitely have that. Japanese culture in general and the first thing would be definitely the respect towards like elders. If you want to see any of my drawings just ask me, I will be more than glad to just show you. I love drama. Oh my god. Korean drama, Japanese drama, Taiwanese drama, Chinese drama. I love drama. And this is weird because what I love about like drama, if you are a fan of like Asian drama in general, you understand what I mean. It's always super cute, super funny. I would just spend hours in watching dramas. I think it's just my drug. It's another way for me to actually learn more about the language and more about like the pronunciation and then be able to just like get used to like hear how they actually pronounce the words the, that's a tip here that helped me a lot with like Japanese for example just like to be able to get used to the pronunciation came to my eighth fact is that it's not a lot of stuff but rock I love J-pop, I love K-pop, that's actually probably my main when it comes to them back in the days I used to listen to much more gothic rock a lot of gothic rock I'm just saying my favorite artist from like my own life because I grew with them like literally speaking Japan I think my main 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 one Ayumi Yamazaki is like my first 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 one when it comes to it I grew up with her songs, I know probably most of her songs, love her. When it comes to J-pop, she's my number one. Her two, which is like that, is another one that I'm just in love with, is like sexy. Well, not sexy for me, but not necessarily sexy for all of my friends, but that's okay. I live with it. K-pop, I have so many, like G-Dragon is probably one of the best and for some of you, definitely probably not a guy. On your go. But I used to love the bands before, like Big Bang, Stripe, BTS, have so many of them, all classic rock which I love a lot or the just newly modern type of rock which I love a lot as well, soft, hard, 
any of them I love. The ninth fact about me is that I used to be gothic back in the days. In uh, high school, it was not a long face because in Africa we don't know that so much. So my mom was just wasn't sure about me going that, that way. But at moment, I used to wear a lot of like black. I used to have calls type of like rings, jewelry. It was a little bit scary. It wasn't like the horrid rock gothic type of thing. I'm not there yet, and I would never get. There was one of my face <laughs> and actually I have no regret to be honest because I'll go through faces for a reason. It was just a part of me exploring my personality and myself even more. I actually learned a lot about myself. It was interesting, it was interesting. I used to hate colors. I, now I just like my second skin. I love colors right now and I still love my black from time to time. Black is like my safe color, it will always be my safe color when it comes to it. But I really open myself more to colors. People like people would have said that to me, I would have been like, uh uh no, it's not happening, not on me, not on uh, on that <laughs> no, no. No, 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 there's no, there's no freaking way I'm gonna wear any color. That girl was, she grew up, she went through phases, and now she's here. Last fact about me is that I hate romantic movies. I can't, I can't, I, I, I can't deal with romantic movies. It's always the same end. Live happily ever after. If you have a different end, well, let me know. Like, I really need to watch that movie. Romantic movie for me is just boring. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's not that I'm not a romantic person, but not so much, to be honest. Yeah, not so much. I'm really not into that kind of over sugar type of thing. I mean, I can be over sugary when it comes to certain situations, but when it comes to like movies and stuff, I can't see myself just sitting for like two hours and just know what's gonna happen at the end of the movie and then actually it's really what happens at the end of the movie. To be surprised by the end of the movie. I don't want to be like, yeah, I know they're gonna do that. And then, you know, guess what? They do that. No, no. <laughs> so that's the reason why I could be more into romantic movies when it comes to like Asian movies compared to like American movies, like romantic movies, like American ways. No offense here again, but American way they tend to just like always sugary. I'm not being happy forever and ever and ever and ever. I'm sorry. I love the mystery and I love the dynamic and I love the fact that they actually somebody just died. I'm sorry. It's sad, but I don't know why. I I feel it's like more realistic. <laughs> Actually, it could be a little bit crazy. Action thriller movie are the best for me. I think thriller movie for me just most of the time you're actually trying to predict what's gonna happen. And guess what? At the end of the movie, most of the time it's like if it's really really good, the end is just unexpected. It's like no way, it, no, no way. And then maybe you're gonna be sad if like your favorite in the movie died, but at least. It's gonna be a surprise. It's gonna be like, okay, yeah, I knew it was gonna happen like that. I'm not against anybody like loving like romantic movies, like people just like don't kill me. It's just like no. <laughs> I'm not against it. I'm just saying that for me, I no, no, no. <laughs> I, I I'm just gonna like fall asleep. And literally it's not even a joke, I'm gonna fall asleep. Person, like in general I'm a super sweet type of person. That was all about the 10 facts about me. Let me know if you like it, let me know if you loved it, and let me know what it is about you that makes you the person you are. Because I'm like curious, you know. It was just a part of me here just to get a hint of who's the person that I am. So uh, yes, that was all about it. A thumbs up, I'm gonna be more than glad and get like notified whenever there's a new video instead of guessing if there's a new video, you know, because uh, unfortunately, well, YouTube doesn't let anybody know anymore. So uh, you might want to just turn on that notification button. No regrets here, for sure. A lot of like love, positive vibe and me. <laughs> I can mean, which is ready for like the mall so if you want to like have access to it everything is gonna be linked in the description box below as usual 
Personalized lookbook is the same thing, it's just another process where you actually get to choose whatever you want to see in your lookbook because it's up to you. And everything is going to be linked down below as well. And that's it for this week, I hope you liked it. I'm going to see you on my social media, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, anything related to it. I'm going to be there, like usual, never changes really. It's just me and me and me, you know. I contest challenge on Instagram for any polka dots type of outfit because you saw the lookbook at the beginning of this week. So obsessed by polka dots as much as I am, just sign me and tag me on your outfit on Instagram and I'm gonna share it on my Insta story at the end of this week. Definitely let me know and let me know, tag me, I'm gonna be more than glad to see your favorite, favorite look. As I say all the time, smile. Because it's free. Have a beautiful, 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 great weekend. Bye. <laughs>